na pikon at nagalit si Congressman Sandro Marcos sa isang anti-Marcos na mayabang. Pinupost daw nito sa social media at ginagamit ang kanyang pangalan. Kaya nanawagan ngayon ang kongresista na tigilan na ang kanilang kalokohan. Kana naman huwag nila gamitin yung pangalan ko sa politika. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko naman sila ginugulo. Eh, kung mm-hmm. gusto nila, itong, itong kapit ang yabang-yabang pa niya, pinapost pa niya sa social media wow. na ang, ang hirit daw niya kahit anti-Marcos siya, nakakuha pa rin ng 8 million na projects. Eh hindi naman yung tama. Mm-hmm. So let's not... Let's, Wag, let's not use, please, huwag na tayo mamuliti ka. Malayo pang eleksyon, tapos gagamitin pa niya yung pangalan ko. Sana naman konting, ano, konting, o, oh, konting respeto naman, konting delikadesa. Eh, hindi naman ganun ang, ang methods ko. Uh, so, just be vigilant na lang sa ating mga kakailan, lalo na dito sa lawag. Uh, let's be vigilant. And, uh, sana naman, itong mga taong to, they don't take credit for something that they didn't do. Uh, medyo nakaka-pikon talaga. Uh, pero para sa akin, nung sinabi sa akin, ay, hindi mo naman kasama yung barangay niya, huwag bigyan ng proyekto, eh, yung tao lang ang madadama, eh, di ba? So, hindi pwedeng ganun. Pero kahit pa paano, huwag mo naman gamitin yung pangalan ko. Di ba? In any case, uh, <laughs> let my... Let this be a warning na lang. Yes. Okay? Do not take my kindness for stupidity. Okay? Mabayit ako pero hindi ako bobo. So do not, do not take my kindness for stupidity or I will make sure that anytime they try and take advantage of me, I will make sure that uh, repercussions will be had. I've always said that uh, given who I am and uh, the family that I am from, it is... Uh, It has always been incumbent of me uh, to have an inclination towards uh, going into politics because of of, of uh, my upbringing. Uh, I was exposed to it at a very young age. But I think what's important is to make the differentiation uh, that my family members, well, those such as my father and uh, Senator Aimi uh, and Gov Matt, of course, uh, Are, are not are not politicians first but public servants and uh, there, there must be a differentiation made between those two definitions and I always considered uh, them to be public servants first and I always consider myself now to be a public servant as well uh, but why did I go into it was that the question sir yeah, yes um, to be honest it's it's because uh, I feel that being in a position where you have the ability to be able to help as many people that you can, um, I think it's only right that uh, with the opportunity that we're given, uh, that we take it to be able to provide service to the people, to be able to give, uh, to be able to provide for the betterment of people's lives. Uh, especially at a time like this when the pandemic is ravaging not just our country but the world. Uh, it is very important that we have as many hands on deck as possible uh, to be able to help our fellow countrymen, uh, our fellow province, uh, our, our fellow ka- kailian. And uh, that is one of the main reasons why. And uh, I did not want, you know, given, given that the uh, working in government Uh, to begin with, is a very bureaucratic process uh, that requires a lot of knowledge and know-how. Uh, so I didn't want to be ill-prepared when I ran. Uh, there were people pushing me already in 2019. Uh, but I, I wanted to be prepared, hence why I decided the best thing to do would be to work in Congress first. Uh, so I worked there for about two and a half to three years. And uh, now that I feel that I am prepared um, not only to serve as a congressman, Uh, but most especially to assist in uh, aiding my kakailian uh, during this, this, this crucial time. Uh, I feel that I, I've gone through what, needs to, uh, what one needs to go through in order uh, to have the uh, chops, so to speak, uh, to be able to help. Uh, but that really is the main reason, because I'm in a position where I know I can help 
and it's it's really to make uh, the lives of our uh, fellow Kakailians uh, much more pleasant and uh, much better given the situation that everyone is in right now. Okay. But you're still a political neophyte as it is. So how, and you're still getting the Marcos name. How do you think will you keep up with your other uh, veteran politician opponents, especially during the campaign? I'm sorry, sir. Say that again. Uh, you're still a you're still a political neophyte, even if you have the Marcos name. Yes. As such, you don't really have any experience in campaigning personally. You campaigning now. How how do you think you'll keep up with them? They're, 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 your, your opponent is a political veteran. Yes, sir. Um, well, to be honest with you, uh, I I don't. I am a political neophyte. That's correct. But it, it also I, I've I've grown up my whole life uh, campaigning for my father, campaigning for Senator Imi. So I have been able to see what how those processes are, um, how to be able to run a campaign efficiently. Uh, even though campaign season has not started yet, uh, I feel that you know we've built a very good team uh, to be able to cope with uh, with what's to come. And we've already been making very good progress with regards to uh, making sure that we have a very solid voter base uh, within the province for myself. So I, I the, the question pertains to uh, a level of inexperience that I feel I already gained as a result of my past, uh, as a result of having prepared in Congress, as a result of having been exposed politically uh, through various means, most especially my father, uh, Senator Imi, and uh, even though I feel like I still have a lot to learn from them, I do feel like having them there as, uh, for lack of a better word, my mentors, uh, quite an advantage. And I fully intend to use every lesson that I've learned from them. And truth be told, sir, everyone has started as a neophyte one at one point in their lives or, or another. What matters is uh, how that uh, how that track record starts, how you show that you have the ability to prove to the people uh, that they were right to put their trust in you. And I would like to think, uh, given my track record, given of what I've said, uh, given my education, my work experience, that uh, the people can put their faith in me uh, to lead the first district of Ilocos Norte um, as their congressman and bring them to uh, have a better life. Okay, so there's no difference being you before, beforehand, you were just in the background, but you're not, you're now you're in front and center. So do you think there's any difference? Uh, I think the main difference is that yes, you're the candidate, uh, but you know, there, every, behind every good public servant is an even better team. And I think that People tend to overlook that. Uh, you know, politics is uh, very is very centralized towards the candidate. But I think we mustn't forget that you are only as good as the team behind you, uh, which is why I'm very confident because uh, the, the team that we put uh, behind myself uh, are very efficient, very good. And we, both, we all share the same vision, which is a better Ilocos Norte, most especially the first district. Um, so we all... We all uh, we all strive to work towards that. And uh, I guess being at the center of it just means more of a management, more of a management role, making sure everything runs smoothly. Uh, but it's nothing that uh, I haven't experienced before, sir, as a result of, like I said, uh, my past with my father and my job in Congress, uh, which has led me as a result to being here uh, today. Okay, so. Uh, this is a if, if you win, what could you offer that the incumbent congressman, both in the first and second district? What could you offer? What could could you offer something different? Uh, well, with regards to the second district, I fully intend on working uh, quite synergistically with my uh, with my uncle uh, Angelo Marcos Barba. I think he has been doing a fantastic job in the second district, um, and he's been doing very well. With regards of what I could offer uh, 
in terms of the person I'm running against, I think my, uh, my track record speaks for itself. And I, I fully intend on hitting the ground running, uh, especially with regards to uh, the legislative output uh, that my office uh, will show, which I think would be quite different uh, to how we are situated now. Um, you know, it's, it's not for me to say, I'm not one to uh, throw mud, I'm not, uh, hindi ako isang tao na bumabati ko sa aking katunggali. Uh, but I will focus on myself and just say that what I can offer is, is a higher output, um, a higher legislative output especially, and uh, one that will focus legislation on bringing prosperity and development to the province of Ilocos Norte, um, not just the first district, but the whole province, given the fact that, uh, of course, Kong Angelo will be there also. And uh, we mustn't uh, address, or sorry, we mustn't ignore the elephant in the room. Uh, of course, my father is also running for president. And it's really the political synergies that we are looking for uh, to be able to bring more, uh, more help, more aid um, to, to our province. And should all these things fall into place, uh, I think we will be extremely well positioned to be able to do that. Uh, bring a seamless and uh, class A service to the province. Okay, I, can, I think that's enough for the serious tone. That's like enough <laughs> things a bit. I'll, I'll pass it on now to Matt for other questions. Uh, <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, oh, no, no, I, I, Medyo serious in question, but that's okay. It's 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 okay in a month to talk about these kinds of things. It's 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 what voters need to know. Uh, so thank you very much. All right. So enough of the serious questions then. So <laughs> <laughs> let's get Christmas the people to know man. you more. Oh, nga. So, Sir Sandra, let's get the people to know you even more. What are your hobbies? The things that you do in your free time, if you ever do have a free time, because because you're running around the country. Well, I, I've been I've been mainly focused in Ilocos actually. I haven't been going as much as uh, I have in the past. Twenty sixteen, I, I was going around a lot more. Of course, uh, my my district or where I'm running takes complete priority over uh, over uh, everything else. Uh, to the disappointment of many social media fans, I apologize, but it, it's really the case that I have to focus on Ilocos. Um, and that's what, what I want to do anyway. But um, what do I do in my free time? I, I enjoy music. Uh, I read a lot. <laughs> I enjoy reading uh, and just spending time with my family. Um, I think I used to take advantage or I used to take, I used to take the fact, I used to take it for granted uh, family time, but I think I've uh, come to appreciate it a lot more than I have in the past. Uh, and of course, just being with friends. Uh, yeah, so music, friends, family, and books. It's really my life. And of course, Ilocos Norte. Oh, wow. So what kind of genre of music do you enjoy? Oh, wow. Uh, Dame. I, I don't, I don't, I, I, I listen from everything to, uh, you know, classic rock because of my dad. Um, I use I listen to hip hop, rap, uh, electronic music, house, uh, jazz, everything, everything. So long as it's good, so long as it sounds good, I'm happy. Uh, but I've always been into music. I collect vinyls. Uh, I, I, I'm sure as everyone knows from social media, I DJed for an extensible amount of time, uh, especially when I was in college to make money on the side. Uh, and yeah, yeah, that, that's it's it's a wide range of things. Okay, that's cool. And pardon me, what which books would you? Any parang tell your fans to read? You know, which books would I yeah. tell my fans to yeah, read? Which you would recommend to them? Wow. Um. Well, I just finished a very good book called Kicking Away the Ladder uh, by this Korean author called Ha Jun Chang. I, I read the mo most of the books I read are on sort of economics and development. Um, uh, there's another one called Globalization and Its Discontents. Uh, one of my favorite books is called Why Nations Fail. Uh, fantastic book. And um, yeah, let's leave it with those three for now. 
Right. Okay. I'll be sure to check those out as well. <laughs> I'll lend so, it to you. Oh, oh, sure. If you want. That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now to the elephant in the room for my non-serious questions. You have so, so many fans. Do you even get to enjoy public life without being chased around by your fangirls? I'm going to come say hi. <laughs> Sorry, my dad just came into the room. <laughs> oh, yeah. He graced us with his presence. That was... <laughs> uh... Anyway, please carry on. I'm sorry. I apologize for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Merry Christmas. I'm sorry. What was the question? Oh, yeah. So you have so many fans, like a lot. There's a lot of them. Uh, yeah, I do. Do you, do you I, even get to enjoy know, it's, public it's, life? It's, it's still weird for me to, uh, <laughs> to think of it that way. Uh, do I get to enjoy public life? I don't. I, uh, I, I don't I don't I don't approach life any differently than I have in the past. Um, I don't I've never felt the need to. Um, I'm always appreciative of any type of support wherever it may come from. Uh, but am I able to live a public? Yes, yeah, I do. I, I, I think I am able to enjoy it uh, to the extent that I do, at least uh, much more than my father does now. Uh, but with regards to, I mean, having all that, those, those, uh, fans and social media. Yeah. I mean, I, I just going into public life, I knew this was going to happen and I knew what to expect. Um, so it, it never came as a shock to me. And I guess as a result of my dad, I, I've been more, uh, averse to handling it. Uh, I just, you know, I'm, and I'm very appreciative of everyone's support. I just ask. I guess, you know, there, there's a very small uh, contingent of people who support me. Um, I just ask that, you know, it's, it's gotten to the point sometimes where, you know, medyo nakaka, di naman nakakahiya, pero nakakagulat na, you know, they, they, they message all my friends or they follow all my friends kung saan saan, kung ano sinasabi nila. Um, any of my friends who's a girl, kahit kaibigan ko lang, binabash nila. You know, I just ask, I just ask all my fans that are listening in now, maybe to uh, step back the man. And uh, I, I don't, I don't mind, uh, you know, I, I, I don't mind the, the publicity for myself, but uh, maybe the man respect uh, the privacy of, of those uh, who wish to be respected. Um, but that, that's the only, uh, I guess that's the only thing that I'd ask. Um, but besides that, of course, I'm very thankful I'm very thankful of this, their support. Uh, <laughs> even the funny placards that I see uh, sa mga motorcade ng tatay ko, nakaka, nakakatawa. Tawa kami ng tawa. Um, but yes, I, I, to, to answer the question, um, I, uh, I'm very appreciative and I am able to enjoy life. Uh, I just hope that they uh, respect the privacy of, of, of my friends uh, who wish to be, uh, you know, to, to, to wish to be in private life. Oh, yeah. Is ever since we posted the teaser this morning, as I said earlier, daming nag message. Like, literally, they're asking for shout outs. I mean, there's really so much people messaging us. Well, that's, that's, that's okay. I don't mind that because this is a public forum. It's just more people whose lives uh, would rather be kept private. I mean, I'm, I'm, I consider myself, or it's weird to say, but I guess I am sort of being in politics, being a public servant, uh, you become a public figure. So I, I, I'm totally okay with that, um, especially in a public forum such as this. Bakit? Sino ba gusto dyan ng shout out? Do we have any? Yeah, we have a lot. You have okay, your let's Sandro pick, Natics let's, and your let's Sandro pick three. Babies. Let's pick three. Okay, let's pick three. Let me check the comment section. Why Pumotok Bakanina when you guys shared it? Yes, actually, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> well, to anyone listening, I, I am very appreciative that, that you're all tuning in uh, and supporting not only me, but uh, my father as well. So thank you very much to everyone. 
Okay, one moment, sir. Let me check the comment section of the live video. Let me help you out. Okay. <laughs> uh, solid Sandro fans from Bin Bindar, from Pagudput, Bahara, Bangi, and Bulbo. There are just so many names. I don't think you can name them all. Okay, well, uh, Salahat, uh, uh, solid uh, Sandro fans uh, from Vintar, Bangi, Pagudput, and Burgos. Uh, ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng inyong suporta. And um, sana naman po uh, tuloy-tuloy hanggang sa halalan uh, para makita natin ang pag-unlad ng ating probinsya. Diyos unay tiyag ni na po. Okay, thank you, Mr. Marcos. Sandro. Thank you, Sandro. Sandro na lang. Tonight. Nakakahiya yung Mr. Marcos, sir. <laughs> yeah, I think it should be for your father. Anyway, uh, I hope uh, we'll have another round like this soon. Uh, sir, anytime. Anytime you guys want. Uh, nandito lang ako para sa inyo. And uh, anytime. I am more than happy kahit weekly, kahit every day. Uh, I am more than happy. Uh, mas no, wag, masaya naman kayong kasama eh. Wag, wag so, mong... Wag mong sabihin weekly, baka hintayin nila. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't mind. Huh? Yeah. I, I, I'm happy. I'm happy to do weekly interviews, especially with the Ilocos Times. Uh, you guys are such a revered publication. Uh, you do such a good job. Uh, so I would like, of course, uh, before this interview ends, to congratulate uh, you all on all your good work and uh, thank you. So please uh, keep at it and uh, tuloy tuloy lang. Yeah, uh, just uh, just one more thing. Can you also do greet? We have uh, at least more than 5,000 viewers right now. 5,000? Yeah, more than 5,000. Wow. Well, to the salahat, to all the 5,000 viewers that tuned in tonight, uh, thank you so much. Wow. Wala ako masabi. <laughs> but uh, thank you. Thank you to all the 5,000 viewers that tuned in tonight. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, it means a lot. And I wish you all a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Uh, sana uh, makuha nyo yung gift na nagustuhan nyo. And uh, I hope you have a restful, restful holiday ahead. Uh, lahat tayo kailangan mag-break ng konti. Uh, because come Jan 2022, uh, it's going to be back to harder, even harder work uh, than 2021. So I wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Okay, again, thank you, Sandro. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to doing this again. Thank you again, sir. Uh, to both of you, then, Merry, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas too. And sir Matt, if you really want those books, uh, I can lend it to you. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I guess that's our time for tonight. So thank you, Mr. Sandro Marcos, for taking the time off your very busy schedule to do this little interview with us. Anything and for you guys. Thank you so much. And once again, to all the viewers, mag-ingat kayo lagi. At uh, maraming maraming salamat sa supporta.